All right, guys. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually use stretched res on Fortnite. Um, while there is a couple of other videos out there, this one is going to be a little bit quicker and more to the point. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is actually check if your monitor can support it. So you have to make sure that you have display scaling. So we're going to go ahead and load up NVIDIA control panel. And then once this is loaded up, the first thing you want to do is go to adjust desktop size and position and you're going to scroll down here and you're going to see perform scaling on that like it'll say uh either gpu or display if it doesn't say display then you can't do this so make sure that says display and then we're going to uh, select no scaling right here and we're going to apply that it might black out your monitor for a second so it's okay it'll come right back so just make sure display no scaling uh and then all of this just your current stuff and then you want to also go over to change resolution and customize. Make sure you don't have any custom resolutions. If you do, delete them. And then uh, make sure enable resolutions not exposed by the, uh, the display is not clicked. Because if you don't do this, guys, you can black out your monitors and then kind of a pain to get it back. So then now that we are done with that, we can close that. And then the second thing you want to do is actually go to run right here local app data and then you're going to want to pull up your fortnite game files so if you guys have actually done like old stretch res on just like display or uh, gpu scaling then you guys would be familiar with this so you're just going to go to the config and then the game user settings and you're going to want to scroll down you see the desired screen width and like all of that you're going to make sure that it's actually on 1920 by 1080 i'm not sure my why mine was on 1720 but yeah, you're just going to make sure all of it's on 1920 by 1080 or your native res. So that's what you're going to do. Just make sure all of that's there. The resolution size, last confirmed, desired, all of that has to be the same. And then you're going to go ahead and just save that out of there. And then now you guys are going to be able to go download CRU. So I'll have a link in the description for this and um, the display scaling guide the way to reset it so make sure you guys do go through this google doc right here just to um you know learn how to get into safe mode make sure you guys can do all that and reset it if your monitors do black out and you do a step wrong or something but otherwise just go ahead and download this you want to download the zip right here and then i'm not going to download it because i already have it but if you go to your desktop you'll be able to pull it up just like that open up cru and then it may look uh, similar to this. And then you wanna make sure that you have the right monitor up here selected. So it might be a little bit hard to differentiate between them, but you can go to your settings and find out which one is your main monitor and which one isn't. I know that's the top one right here. And then on the side right here, you're gonna see established resolutions. It may look a little similar to this. Whatever it looks like, just make sure you click none on the bottom. And then we're gonna to go to your extension blocks. You're gonna edit that. You're going to pull the last resolution. So mine is 1920 by 1080 at 144 hertz. We're going to click on that right there. So just click it, edit, and then copy the timings. Cool. And then delete all. And then you're going to delete this extension block. And then for the standard resolutions, you're going to delete all of those as well, if you have any. And then for the detailed resolution, same deal. So now that we've done that, the first thing we're going to do is go to standard resolutions and we're going to add one. We're going to pick your res so 1920 by 1080 which is native and then leave that at 60 hertz and then you're going to go to detailed resolutions and you're going to paste the timings that you copied into that and then we're going to set it to the res that you guys want so i like 1680 by 1050 so you're going to do that and then just okay and then so um what i recommend because this makes it a lot easier is add another res paste it and make sure it's just 1920 by 1080 so you guys can basically just switch between without actually having to reset all of the settings so then you just click ok make sure this one's at the top right here and then click ok and now before i show you guys this this is where it can get a little bit complicated and some of you might actually encounter problems so again just make sure you go over that google doc learn how to get in the safe mode a basic rundown of it is when you're loading up your pc when windows starts uh booting up just hold the power button down do that three times and it, you'll be able to boot it into safe mode from the windows recovery screen um but after you guys are all comfortable with that basically we're just going to click on restart 64 and your monitors will black out for a second as it's rebooting the monitors 
um if it does stay for a while you will have to do the whole safe mode thing but it should come back in a second so i will see you guys when i have it all done there we go guys and now i'm back so i have done all that and now to see if it works what we are going to actually do is just close this out right here and then you're actually going to pull up your settings you're going to go to display and then you're going to be on you know your main display whichever one you changed and then you're going to scroll down to advanced display and then you'll actually see display adapter properties right here click on that list all modes and you should be able to find your res right there you'll just click okay and then there we go as you guys can see you should be able to see that i am on i actually am on stretch res right now and then boom you guys are all set so you can basically just go interchangeable between uh 1920 uh by 1080 and the res that you've picked and you can always add more res uh resolutions just make sure that you follow the guide again to do that um and then yeah you guys are all set so now the last thing after you do this is we can boot up fortnite and i will see you there when it is booted up Alrighty, and now i am here in fortnite as you guys should be able to see i am on stretched res now um a good way to tell is when you do go to your settings and you're on full screen um other stretched reses will actually just lock you onto that one resolution so for example if you're playing uh 1720 by 1080 it'll only allow you to pick that resolution when you do do 1680 by 1050 it allows you to pick from three different resolutions that are all 16 by 10 but uh normally it'll just lock you onto one res but uh you guys should be able to see that i am actually on stretch res you know compared to how the game looks and everything um yeah that's pretty much how you guys will actually just get stretch res in fortnite um i'll put some gameplay up with the stretch res so you can kind of see how it looks uh look what uh see what the fov looks like see if it's kind of right for you but yeah um thank you guys for watching um if you guys enjoy the content please consider subscribing as it helps tremendously